I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How's going on, guys? Your old buddy Yard Boy coming at you on a Saturday. Feeling a whole lot better, let me just tell you. Uh, it's been a it's been a rough couple of days. Uh, but starting to starting to get back on my feet. Feeling pretty good. Uh, unfortunately the weather did not cooperate today. I would have liked to have been out trying to get some leaves cleaned up, but weather didn't cooperate and uh I had some uh had some other things that needed my attention anyway, uh, that I can do well, regardless of what the weather's like. So uh Got a got some other side gigs that I I, I dabble in, uh, not just not just the old yard boy thing. Uh, got some got some got some little projects on the side that bring in some extra income as well. So I got to work on that today. So it was it was a productive day. It was still a productive day. Uh, just kind of hanging out here in my shop a little bit. This thing needs some attention. This is this is going to be one of my winter projects is to uh, get this thing cleaned up and uh never mind that busted glass back there that's that's been like that for probably 30 years uh, long before i ever lived here but hey i gotta give a shout out real quick to danny lanier lanier lawn care uh, many of you subscribe to danny and uh you check out his live streams all the time he does a great job of, of getting product and reviewing it for us and letting us know what's going on and uh, last week he jumped into a live stream with Shane with DLT and gave away some of the comfort trims. Uh, if you have not seen those, I'll throw a picture of them up here in the video. Uh, if you have not ever seen those, I actually uh, have a pair that I've had for a couple of years. And quite frankly, it was time to replace them. And I always thought when they first came out several years ago, and I think Danny did one of the first one of the first reviews on them, if, if my memory serves me correct. When I first saw that, I said, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but the more I looked at it, I said, you know, it's kind of practical. Because uh, for those of you that follow my videos, you've, you've probably seen me wearing them when I'm out trimming. Guys, and this, this is a personal thing, and this is not here for a debate about whether to wear shorts or long pants, okay? I'm not, I'm not getting into that debate, okay? You can do what you want, all right? That's why we're all our own, we're our own business owners. We're, we all do our own thing. But for a long time, I was a firm believer, and it was kind of ingrained in my head as a kid that, oh, you're going to work, you're going to wear long pants. Well, no, that's not always smart. Sometimes there are situations where shorts are appropriate but one the thing that had always been a problem with me is trimming and you end up with your shins by the end of the season looking like hamburger meat and you know over the years i had learned how to properly use a trimmer so that most of the time at least i was throwing the debris away from my legs but there's going to be those times when you just can't help that and the nice thing about the comfort trims, and this is in no way any kind of paid endorsement for this, but again, I, I, I talk about the things that I use on a daily basis, okay? What I liked about the comfort trims was, number one, they were easy to take on and off, okay? It doesn't take all day to slip them on. Um, I keep mine on the floor of my trailer with a cinder block on top of them, right next to my trimmer that I use on a regular basis, Okay. So they're within easy reach and I can sit down on the fender of the trailer before I grab my trimmer and slip them on quick. They just pull right over my shoes, pull them up to my kneecaps and then it's Velcro around them. Boom, you're gone. The second thing I like about them is the back is mesh like the back of a, a trucker's cap and the way that they are designed, they do not cling to your leg. Okay. They're, they're kind of a, kind of an old hoop skirt kind of design so they're poofed out away they're not sitting on your leg and you've got the coverage on the front so that if there is debris it'll knock it off 
And then on the back, you've got the mesh that lets the air flow through and let your, let your legs breathe. Uh, you know, most of my yards, I can have them trimmed in 10 or 15 minutes. So I don't have to worry about some funky tan line on my leg either. You know, now, now from, from the, from the hem of my shorts on up, that's a whole different story. <laughs> Which you're not going to see that unless you are around me when I'm on vacation in my speedo. Sorry, didn't mean to give anybody that that visual. But uh, hey, check them out. There's plenty of places where you can find them. Uh, I need to check with Danny. He may even have a source where you can get them. He may have a code that can get you some money off of them. I don't know. I'll, I'll check with him. He may even drop in here in the comments and let us know. So. Uh, just wanted to give him a shout out, give Shane a shout out for letting him come in on his, on his live stream and, and give those away. And, uh, if you have not done so, go, go check both those guys out. Go check out Lanier Lawn Care, L-A-N-I-E-R, Lawn Care, Danny Lanier. And then of course our old buddy Shane with DLT Lawn Care. Go check him out and, you know, I guess while you're at it, go check out those old Lawn Stars too. I mean, Big Mo and, and, and Brando and all those guys. So you might, you might give them a follow too. I don't know. Hey, um, just one, like I said, check in with you real quick. And of course we know why you're here is to find out what is going on on this day in history. Today in history. Today is Saturday, December the 4th the 338th day of 2021, there are 27 days left in the year. Today is National Cookie Day. 1783, General George Washington bade farewell to his Continental Army officers at Francis Tavern in New York. 1942, during World War II, U.S. bombers struck the Italian mainland for the first time with a raid on Naples. 1954, the first Burger King stand was opened in Miami by James McLemore and David Edgerton. 1956, Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Carl Perkins gathered for the first and only time for a jam session at Sun Records in Memphis. This gathering later became known as the Million Dollar Quartet. 1965, the United States launched the Gemini 7 with Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Frank Borman and Navy Commander James A. Lavelle aboard on a two-week mission. And in 2000, in a pair of legal setbacks for Al Gore, a Florida state judge refused to overturn George W. Bush's certified victory in Florida and the U.S. Supreme Court set aside a ruling that had allowed a manual recounts. Birthdays today, game show host Wink Martindale turns 88. Actor Jeff Bridges is 72. Marissa Tomei is 57. Comedian Fred Armisen is 55. And model Tyra Banks is 48. That's today in history for Saturday, December the 4th. 2021. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, got another day in the books. Uh, hopefully, this rain is going to get on out of here this weekend and I can get back at it Monday. Next week is going to be kind of hectic for me because I've got a middle school basketball game I've got to announce Monday night. Uh, my oldest daughter has two high school games next week, and then we've got a fundraiser for my middle daughter at her middle school one night. So I, I got four nights this week that are crazy. I mean, crazy. Huh. If I wouldn't trade anything for it. Love my family. Do anything for them. Hey, guys, if you have not done so, leave me a thumbs up on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Share it out there with your mom and them because, hey, everybody wants to know what's going on with your old buddy Yard Boy. I mean, who, who wouldn't want to know what goes on in the life of a, of a lawn jockey every day? Remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Ring that notify bell so that you'll know when there's new award-winning content on the channel. Award-winning. It's, it's a fact. 
And uh, for all things Yard Boy, hey, you know, you know the drill. Head over to www.theyardboy.net and hey, if you're that guy in South Carolina with theyardboy.com, I need to talk to you because you're sitting on that thing and I want it. All right, it's it's, it's you're not doing anything with it. Hey, y'all keep them straight out there. Now you here. Howdy, baby.